What's up, Roadie Foodie fam? Welcome back to our channel, guys. Today, I am super excited. Not only are we doing a collaboration, uh, but we're gonna be making some Mexican pizzas. I saw this on Bead Loves Life's channel uh, the other day, so I was like, let me just run to Target, let me just get the essentials, and let's make it poppin'. But look how gross it is today, though, too. It's gonna be a saddy day, guys. Oh my God, it is so, like, sad, wet, overcast. Look at that. It's not gonna be a happy day here, but I wanted to introduce you guys to Leah Pie Chat. What's up, Brody Foodie fam? My name is Leah, Leah Pie Chats on YouTube. I just do mukbangs, cooking videos, baking videos, fun random little chats and discussions. I am just a girl in my 20s. I like food, I like trying new food, I like baking food, I like cooking food, even though I'm not really that good at it. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited to collab with Roadie Foodie fam, my good friend Lupe, thank you so much for doing this with me. I'm excited to get started on this Mexican pizza, which I've never actually had from Taco Bell. Fun fact. And I think that our homemade ones are going to be a little bit better. But come check out my channel if you so please. Thank you again, Roadie Foodie fam. Love you guys so much. Mwah. Thanks so much, Leah. I can't wait to talk about a little bit more why I enjoy her channel a lot, guys. But here's the stuff right here. All right, so we got some tortillas, some Mexican style chisel, some lettuce, some uh, salsita. We got some ground beef here. We're actually only gonna use half for today and I'll explain, well, well, basically we're gonna be using the other half on a different recipe because I'm doing another cooking video for you guys. And then we got the frijolitos. We got some olives, some tomato sauce, some seasonings because I, as an idiot, thought that I had one of those packets for thingy, but I don't. I have chili. I have chili. I never made chili. So is this chili? Nope, that's something else. <laughs> so I don't have everything that I need. Uh, but we got some jalapenos here. I was going to make a quick little, uh, quick little pico. Uh, but again, I don't have, what you call it? I don't have cilantro. I guess they don't sell cilantro at Target. Uh, this, I don't know how this guy got in here, but this right here, guys, you put this on like pad thai or something, you're going to thank me later. And I saw these two sauces right here. Look at this. Lime crema sauce. So we're going to try that on one of them. On the other one, I don't know what the hell this is, but it said the word sauce on it. It had a little taquito on it. So I was like, we definitely need to have that. And before we get cooking, I just need some buff. Sometimes I need like, I ran out of seltzers. So, but sometimes I need some bubbles in the morning. All right, guys, cheers. Let's get into cooking. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain, but it is kind of smoothing now, or soothing. <laughs> I'm so tired. All right, so what we'll kind of do while this stuff, and I got it on low, guys, because we're going to be doing some multiple things here. We're going to get the frijolitos in here. And essentially, you don't want to cook these. The beans are already... Already made for you guys. Basically, what you're doing is you're just heating it up. But I do like, I know some people will microwave these. I won't do that. So, what we'll do is we'll just give it a little, uh, give it a little time to do its thing there. Pow! But again, we're only going to use half today because I'm going to be making another video for you guys. Use a different spatula for that right down the middle, even Stevens. And we're gonna kind of slow cook this because we got some things that we gotta chop up. And I know that some of you guys like to use the really lean stuff, but remember, remember the flavor is in the fat. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just we'll just make a little pile of these guys. We're gonna make a super small batch of pico. I am so sad that I'm not using cilantro, but it's okay. We're still gonna get the desired effect. I know some folks like to use different, um, they'll use a different uh, kind of herb if they don't have 
cilantro, but I feel like that's kind of blasphemy. But if you have, I think, what is it, like parsley or something like that? One of the other greeneries, you'll be able to kind of make it. All right. Plus, I want to make a little extra because I love me some chip and dip. Chip and dip in the city. All right, we'll put that away here. A little limon action. Don't forget to roll it. It's like anything in life, you gotta put in a little work to make sure that it's worth the squeeze. All right. Look at that. That's a nice juicy bad boy right there. A little organics. Can't go wrong with organics here. Look at look how much juicier an organic lime is. Oh yeah. Just nice. Nice and because I want to save the rest for the actual Mexican pizzas. Okay, so it's kind of an older one, but we're still gonna make it rain here. It's still good. You always want to do like a little slit like this and then cut off the other end. Okay, what that does, I'm going to start crying in a minute, but that opens it all up. It makes it easier for you to peel off kind of the older layers on it too. Ow, look at that. Humans are basically just like onions. Sometimes you just got to get past a few layers. And sometimes they'll make us cry. <laughs> like, look, that started off as a really cute analogy, and they just went south real bad. But onions make a lot of the dishes a lot tastier. I just want to show you guys this real quick. Look at that. Brand new onion. Look at that. How beautiful is that? All right, so we'll put that over there. So what we're going to do, down the middle, down the hatch. Look at that. Delicious. Okay, so what we'll do first is you always want to. Oh, I'm not. I'm not left-handed. So essentially, you just want to go down, guys, down, and then we're gonna go across. That's gonna give us a nice little perfect squares. You want to go about an eighth an inch every single time. And if you want to get fancy, I know some, like, you can go this way, too. Just be very, very careful. I have very sharp knives. So one little slip. I'm going to be asking you guys to come visit me at the hospital. All right, look at that. That's what we want right there. You see that? That's what we want right there, baby. Look at those perfect squares. Oh, my God. Como se llama? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Can you guys even see? Like, hope your angles are off. Here we go. How about that? Look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, guys. We're back to the meat. The meat looks pretty almost done. It's almost done here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start adding in our seasonings. Don't you dare drain this all right all those that's like uh the food gods giving you free juice don't you dare ever drain that give a little salt a little s p salt and pepper Throw a little tahini in there, just a little bit. Just enough to wake us up in the morning. Okay. Now this is gonna sound funny, a little, little oregano's. And again, guys, I didn't have one of the packets and I don't have, I don't have a lot of the, the seasonings that I need. So we're just seasoning this real nice. A little garlic powder. You can never have enough garlic powder in my opinion. Garlic is one of the best things for you next to onions. All right, foodie fam, remember, do not throw away that. That's free lubrication from the food gods right there. Soak up all that. So we're gonna crisp these up just a little bit. We're gonna make a couple Mexican pies for the city.
Also, guys, I just wanted to show you these. Look at that. I am craving tacos, baby. Look at that. How much Hawaiian bread does a person need? That's for another video. This is for personal. This is a personal stash here. I'm just going to be making, literally, you, you put this on the stove, put a little butter, scramble a couple eggs, down the hatch. All right, so you guys see it kind of how it's getting crispy on one side, but not on the other. I'm doing that on, on purpose. See how, see how it's crispy? I don't know if you guys can see. See how it's crispy? I'm doing that because I want to be able to give it some um, some structure, but also I don't want my hands to get all greasy and just all over the place. So we'll do that for the bottom ones. And then for the middle ones, that doesn't really matter, or the top ones. We can just do whatever the hell we want with those. All right, guys, it's time, it's time to start building this because your boy is hungry. Let's do it. All right, so frijolitos. Nice and piping hot. I like a nice, I don't like too much frijoles. I like a nice thin layer. All right, so not too much. Don't worry, I'm not gonna waste the frijoles. I'm gonna have those with some eggs later on as a little snack. Be like, Lupe, that's not a snack. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be like, guys, just love me. Accept me for who I am. All right, and then what I like to do too is, because I'm a cheese maniac, is I want to put some on there so that it semi melts, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Como se llama? All right, guys. Now we get some of the some some of the carne that's already piping hot. I don't know if you guys can see the steam and beaming. All right. A little Drizzy Drake here, just like that. Da, 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 da. You see why I only used a half a pound? Look at that. I am gonna hit every corner of this bad boy though. Cause your boy, I'm a growing boy. Ooh, that's still hot. Oh yeah, this makes, Half pound makes two perfect size situations here. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Also, what we're gonna do, a little more chisel, just enough for a little bonding action. And now we're gonna start building our tops, all right guys? And you're just basically just gonna put that right on top, right on tizop. And some piping hot red sauce, AKA just tomato sauce. I don't like to use too much. Again, just like the frijoles, just enough to coat it, to give it that little, little sauce. Basically, this is a pizza. <laughs> just remember guys, this is a pizza. So you need the tomato sauce. Again, I don't want to put too much because I'm definitely going to use some salsita. All right, perfect. Perfect amount. And then what are we doing here? More chisel. This is where you want to put more cheese. Right. As cheesy as you want to go. How low can you go? How low can you go? All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the skillet again, cover it, let that cheese melt, and then we're going to get on and pop it. All right, guys. Also, what that will do is that'll get the bottom piece, since it's been sitting around, it's going to get it nice and crispy again because we're part of Crispy City. Up in here. Look at that. Look at that gooey city. Look at that. Not the best lighting, but that's okay. You know what I should have done? Triple decker Mexican pizza. Next time, son. Next time. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to dress this bad boy. 
All right, so what we're gonna do first is put a little jalapeno nitos. It's not the jalapenos that'll get you, it's the juice, man. Oh, especially when you, you take like a certain breath and it, that juice hits the back of your throat, <laughs> you're done. I'm gonna eat some more on the side. I just, I don't wanna take up too much real estate here. All right, guys, here we go. Some greenery here, you know? So we gotta get our greens in, people. And then what we'll do is we'll grab our Pico Do 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 with that lemon and that salt, man. That's gonna hit. It's gonna hit so beautifully. Some more onions. Oh, man. These are layered up, man. These are layered up. I'm gonna do a little juice. A little juice in the city, guys. You guys know the deal. I don't like dry food. Then we'll start doing these bad boys. These are stacked, guys. <laughs> See why you only do two or you only do a half, a pound? Look at that. I think, uh, I think they started taking away um, olives like back in the day for some reason. I think they probably started costing too much. But look at that. All right, guys, you guys ready for the video, man? Because I'm ready to eat. Look at this. Look how good they came out. Get some light here. Bear, deer, 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 deer. <laughs> oh, is that good? So uh, before we get into this, guys, you know, make sure you go check out Leah's channel. She's uh, an amazing girl that does amazing things. And we'll talk about more of her in the video, but I just wanted to show that real quick. All right, I'm starving. I had to smell this the whole time. Let's get into it. What's up, Roadie Foodie fam? Welcome back to our channel, guys. We have so many freaking sauces I want to try. But uh, I just want to say, um, you know, hopefully you guys like these cooking videos. I saw it. Uh, I saw B Loves Life kind of doing it. And then I saw, uh, I believe, Elliot Family of Seven did their version. So I kind of like it when one of us in the mukbang community starts something and then the rest of us kind of do our own version. I've actually never made these at home. I know the, uh, the simple structure of them but I've never actually made them, right? So uh, I kind of took a little bit of B-Love, I uh, took a little bit of uh, the actual Mexican pizza because Taco Bell basically took them away, right? And you guys saw in the video how I kind of put it together. So let me show you guys a little more upfront action here. And sorry about the bright lights. It's, it's like, oh, it kind of softened up, but it was super crispy. Look at that. Oh my God. Basically, if I wanted to, I can just like roll this up and make it into a taco. Oh my god. Okay, shut up, Lupe. Start eating. All right. So I want to try one just by itself, and then we'll get into kind of that. Mmm. The extra cheese is 1,000% recommended mm. look at that this might be an ASMR video for a second guys hold on mmm All right, I wasn't expecting it to be this good, huh?
You know, sometimes it hits different when you make it yourself. Mmm. Talk about you're never gonna make it like this. Also, I know myself that I love lime. And when I put all that extra lime in the the pico light. Mmm. The rest of the day today can fall apart. Can fall apart in the city, guys. That just redeemed it. Wow. So before I get into the other one, which I want to try different dips, I also got some jalapeno salsa here with some chippy chips. Hey, I do want to talk about Leah. So Leah, as you guys know, is the, the girl that I'm doing this collaboration with. Um, very fortunate, met her through, um, excuse me, Whew. I'm like, I'm like hot and bothered right now, you know what I mean? So, I met Leah through, uh, Autumn Hall, as you guys know, um, she's, uh, kind of part of our extended roadie foodie family, right? Um. We're going to be doing some mukbangs together when everything calms down. I'm actually going to be going to Ohio, and I hope to do the same with Leah. Uh, I might bring some of the Rody Foodie fam with me, or I might go solo, or we might have to just make it a second trip where I go by myself and then bring some, and then hopefully they can come to Rhode Island But um, to do some collaboration videos in person. But, like, when you go to her channel, guys, I would try to get a little taste of all that she does. Um, she does, obviously she does mukbang videos, uh, but she also is like, there was one video she popped up, I think it was on Instagram too, she has an amazing voice, I was like, what? And I can tell because I'm this type of person, you can tell she's a deep person, you can just, you can feel it, you can feel the energy, you can feel the old soul uh, of a person you can feel uh that maybe perhaps they've gone through some stuff right that uh some of us have and kind of came out the other side stronger um so it's just she's a really amazing person um you know we're uh we're hoping to do more things with her so definitely give her uh give her uh give her a subscribe guys i think she's a she'll add a nice little mix uh, to, you know, when I wake up every morning, I go through all my subscriptions. When I wake up in the morning, I go, hmm, what kind of videos? <laughs> I end up watching them all anyways. So, uh, because I really don't watch TV. I watch YouTube. YouTube is my TV. If I need news, I just go to uh, NBC10.com, whatever my local, real, uh, turn to 10.com, see what's happened uh, locally. <laughs> I might go a different channel to watch what's happened nationally for a quick second. And then the rest is Netflix and YouTube. That's what I do. So, before this gets cold, I definitely want to, I just want to try this. I haven't tried this. I got this from, basically, guys, everything you're seeing here is from Target. Mmm. That is some good salsito. By the way, I don't know if Target has been like, um, I think they're starting to make all their own food, too. Mmm. Also, I love these big tortillas, too. Like restaurant style, Mexican restaurant style. Mmm. Okay. So I saw this in the store. I was like, I have some of my favorite words in there. Sauce, lime, and crema. 
So we're going to put some on like a, a corner one. <sighs> Guys, I feel like erratic because I didn't expect this to be this good. I'm going to have to freaking add Mexican pizzas to my, 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 my meal list now. You guys might not see it. It might uh, kind of fade out a little bit. There we go. Little drip, drip. Little, little. Yeah, there we go, baby. There we go. Boop. Let's do a little taste test. And then I want to try this secret sauce. This is the type of ranches and sauces I want to make in the future. All right, here we go. So sexy. I just called a piece of food sexy. I know, guys. Welcome to Rody Foodie. Down the hatch. Mmm. All right, let me do that again. I'm gonna do a bigger area. I'm gonna do it on a chip. It says great out of, God, I love these chips. They're so salty, guys. The original Mexican style from Tostitos. Tostitos? <laughs> so salty. Um, this, you know what? I, it's, it's okay on this. What I would really love this on is like my rice. Like, you know, it, uh, beans, rice. And something to eat or maybe if you're making like a rice bowl you guys ever make rice bowls kind of like how they do it at chipotle where you just make a bed of rice and then you start throwing all your like fixings on top that on there that would be bomb on that it's not bad on this but you know certain sauces not all sauces are created equal but they're needed mm. I want to show you guys the anatomy of this bad boy gum. Oh my god. I'm going to let you guys go soon because I don't want to. If you want to go make some Mexican pizzas on this beautiful Saturday, you go do that. Mmm. But if you want to stick around and watch me destroy this. You're more than welcome to. Because I want to try this stuff right here. Did I already open this? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Let's do it, guys. When it's time to get saucy, it's time to get saucy. Maybe it's a little shy. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was too excited to come out. There we go. All right. Let's see what we have here. Get down in the city. Guys, cooking is actually very therapeutic. I feel very good today right now. All right, here we go. Mmm. You know what this tastes like? Hot and zesty, spicy. You know what this tastes like? It's like a mix of like a spicy mayo a Thousand Island dressing. And like something else. I can't put my finger on it. There's a third. It's almost like they, uh, they put, it's almost like they put three sauces together and said, ship it. All right, let's try that one more time. <clears throat> Taco Bell, you want to hire me? Let me know. Holy guacamole. Mmm. That is good, but I think 
just like the crema, I think it might be better in a different scenario. Maybe for like tacos. Duh, it's on there. All right, guys, let's finish this off. I got so much work to do today. I'm still working. Mm. So I'll just tell you guys the next video I'm doing, too. Hopefully you like this morning's, too. I've never been to that pizza place. Getting so messy. I'm starting to feel like Steven Sushi over here. Right, I'm going to let you guys go because what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically grab these damn chips. These beautiful pieces of chips. And I'm just going to scoop up all, all the thing things. Whew. What it is with cooking too is that like it's, it's um, relaxing, but it also like relaxes you. I feel so zen. You guys are probably like, Luke, are you tired? I'm not. I'm just so like centered. This is why I always worked in restaurants, guys, because I feel very comfortable like in the food scene. I would definitely try this out. If you guys, <clears throat> if you guys end up making these, definitely tag us in like your description or in your comments or something because we'd love to go watch um, different variations of this. And hopefully you guys liked Leah's, uh, her version as well. Um, and hopefully we do more of these collaborations. Again, if, if you're um, if you're a uh, McBain channel and you kind of want to do a little collab like this, we're not going to do a lot of them, but I like to spread them out and have some fun. And um, again, Leah, big fan of yours, as I am with Autumn. Um, I can't wait uh, to do more things with you guys. You guys, um, you each have this thing uh, in you that... Uh, you're, you're, you're going to be built for greatness. Um, uh, kind of, you're just, uh, what's the word? You're like in waiting. So just keep grinding. Just keep doing what you're doing. I was your age once. I totally understand that you want it all right now. Um, but I'm telling you, as an old person just used to tell me, and I actually listened to them, now I'm that old person. Just everything takes time. Everything's about timing in life. You just keep grinding and amazing things will happen. And stay positive. I know it's really easy to maybe flip the script. This is actually advice for everybody. It's real easy to flip the script and then blame it. Oh, I have an excuse for acting that way because this happened to me or that happened or I'm feeling this way today. Okay, that's not an excuse. Thank you for using it, <laughs> but it's not an excuse to act a certain way. Um, and I know that, again, we all go through stuff in life and some of us um, have either a huge chip on our shoulder or maybe a crumb of a chip on our shoulder. Uh, but just know that, um, and especially if someone's acting negatively towards you, just remember it's a reflection on them, not you. Um, and try not to react to them. Because uh, usually what I found in my life is if you do react, um, it validates their actions, right? They got a rise out of you. They got an answer. They got what they wanted out of you. So don't, don't give them what they want. You're just going to go back to that old saying, I'm going to leave you guys with this last step. Kill them with kindness. I know it's tougher and I know it sucks sometimes. And I know that it's going to uh, make you want to probably punch a wall. But kill them with kindness. Focus on yourself, be well, eat well, and take care of each other.